any type of dog you'd love to be able to bet live at the first corner. If he leads, he'll win. They're set to run. Green light. They're ready now. Off and racing. In the hub, bounced OK. Junak Fireball's going to match him early, but in the hub's getting plenty of room, and he sails up the track to lead by a length and a half and puts Junak Fireball away early. Up to third, Mackinac Peach on the outside of Edsel Bale, then Dark Label. A break back now to Legal Bud, Lakeview Alley, and Kenya Hypersonic back at the end, but off the back. It's all in the hub, and all eyes are on the clock. He's gone 17.58. This will be a 29.6 run. In the hub, a minute clear from Edsel Bale and Junak Fireball, and in the hub, goes 29.67, a big win. In the hub by seven lengths, beating Etzel Bale, third Junak Fireball, and then Dark Label, Lakeview Alley. They come in at long intervals, well back to Mackinac Peach, Legal Bud, and Kenya Hypersonic. That was a big win. Fast sections, 29.64. So a really big win from in the hub. He was, in a way, the best dollar ninety chance you could possibly back based on his ability, but... He does like to lay up the track a little bit, but he has got a pretty good record now from inside draws, and that's why 505-1758 there. They're well and truly group class sections. In fact, they're identical to what uh, Magic Muffin did winning the free-for-all. So he was well placed out there tonight in a fifth grade in the hub, and he wins it easily. Number two first, son of Fernando Bale Hughes for R. Thompson, David Crawford. Second to three, Etzel Bale, Basia Bale, Dinah Paddy, Corey Grenfell, Brendan Wheeler, and the four into third, Junak Fireball. He went with the favourite for a portion of the race for Ian Robinson and the Steel Wool Syndicate, Whiskey Wright, Elsie Owens. So two, three, four, one numbers, interim, two, three, four, one, and he's a seriously fast dog in the hub. He's one of the fastest 500 dogs in the country, and he showed exactly why there. Two, three, four.